Students in the Red River Valley are receiving some national attention. The National Arts and Humanities Youth Program is awarding the country's highest out-of-school arts program in Grand Forks. Valley News Team's Ryan Laughlin tells us why the unique program is being honored. Today, the songs coming out of the Red River High School Music Room aren't coming from the students inside. This is a big deal. They're coming from Washington, D.C. To get the national attention from a small town program really means a lot to me, and it means a lot to the supporters, everybody involved. The Summer Performing Arts Program, better known around here as SPA, has won the highest national honor for making a positive impact. Sometimes it's hard to see how special it is because you're inside of it and have watched it grow. Sherwood has been with the program since it started in the 80s, with 40 kids, no budget, and a lot of ambition. Now it benefits 1,400 kids from kindergarten through high school. <laughs> and it's not just kids excited about this recognition. They are streaming the awards ceremony from D.C. And I am not good with streaming or anything else electronics. Deborah Warcup is among many SPA students and staff today to watch the awards ceremony. Reaches northeastern North Dakota and northwestern Minnesota. <laughs> In D.C., representing thousands in Grand Forks, one of Devra's granddaughters, Sydney Wilcox. I think to get that recognition just kind of validates what we're doing. You're just happy that they're with good people. Good people helping other good people grow through art. It means that we did something right. You know, it means that, that, that there's something out there that, ha that has value to the students because they vote with their feet. You know, there's 1,400 kids involved because they want to be involved. From Grand Forks, Ryan Laughlin, Valley News Live. SBA leaders say their work with special needs students and new English learning students helped them get the national recognition. The program will also be awarded $10,000.